So I just want to thank, I'm real thankful for Joel and Harley being here. Uh, last Thursday, we had an amazing group last Thursday, but during the daytime, my friend Jeremy was here. You guys got to meet Jeremy if you came last week. Wasn't Jeremy amazing last yeah. week? Yeah. yeah. When he shared his testimony of how Jesus changed his life. And um, me and Jeremy were out uh, sharing the gospel because, uh, you know, just so you guys know, like, this is not, we don't, we're not like one time a week Christians, you know? Like, we, we share the gospel like every day, all the time. You know, pretty much every day in my life, I'm telling someone about Jesus. I don't do it for a stage or a microphone. I don't do it for a pat on the back. I do it because I love people. Because he, he did something in my heart that made me love those that he loves. Um, but I just want you to know, like, that, that God is doing something. So we were there yes, We were last Thursday. Me and Jeremy went to Walmart. And, and we dropped Kyle off. We didn't have much time. And we went real quick. And we walked in. And I saw... Um, Joel walking out and I, Jer Jeremy was talking to me and I just left him and bolted and because uh, I just knew I had to speak to this young man and I went after him and we, and we shared and the Lord just moved really powerfully and Joel accepted the Lord and it was really amazing because he said about his friend well tell these guys about your friend and uh, you catch uh, so I've, I've been ignoring the Lord for a long time uh, I have a friend that super popular in high school after high school did what every typical popular kid does uh, got into drugs you know, started running with the wrong people, and uh, one day, just out of the blue, he dropped everything and accepted Jesus, and for probably six years now, he's been trying to get me to do the same thing, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, and I never did, not once, and uh, when I talked to Scott, it was just, it was time, yeah. at least the last, mm -hmm. last yeah. year, I kind of just been going through the motions, I go to work, go home, go to work, go home. I never have clarity, and the only time I have a clear head is when I'm either working on cars, I've only been in this church twice, and it's when I'm here. It's the only yeah. time I can think clear. Yep. The rest of the time, it's just blurry. I'm just going through the motions. Stress. So he came on Sunday, and then uh, came with, with Harley, with his fiance, and then she got really touched by the Lord, didn't you? And, and what, what, what did you feel like? Uh, I got really emotional and I cried most of the time I was here, <laughs> pretty much. And had you heard much of like that kind of message that you heard? Have you, have you been around that much before? Um, no, not really. I mean, my family are all pretty much Mormons, so they do a lot of stuff different. So it was a different experience and stuff like that. So it was, it was nice. I enjoyed it. I really did. And she, yeah. stood, she stood on Sunday to accept Jesus. Uh, at church, just like just like you did. I think you were at the second service. Yeah. Harley was at the first service. Um, so to see you take that step, and then for us to just so you guys can see the bigger picture, how it began, you know, and and to see how the Lord draws people. But you know, that was from just going into the store briefly. Like imagine if like tw twenty of us in this room, yeah. if we yeah. went out uh, day to day with that mindset of I'm going to speak to somebody about Jesus. If you don't know how to do it, we can help you because we have a really simple way of doing it. But, but this is like the dream of this group that, that like all of us in our day to day lives are doing this thing, like maybe our work colleagues or, or someone who's at the bank or whatever, wherever. We just try and say, hey Lord, maybe you want to touch their life. Imagine like what could happen. So that's why I want to share, just to encourage you guys. Like it's not that difficult when God is moving. You just share and find out who he wants to, who he wants to bring and then uh, he'll, he'll do the rest, yeah? I, I don't think it was a coincidence that we met that day because I was actually at Walmart the day before and like I said, not being able to think clear, I forgot juice for my kids. <laughs> and that's <laughs> the only reason I had to go to Walmart that day. Yep. The only reason. Pretty much. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want. Okay. Hey, man. How you doing, bro? Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Just wondering, have you ever seen that picture before? And do you pray? Do you ever pray? Every once in a while, yeah. How you doing? Yeah. That's a picture of Jesus knocking on the door of your heart. Okay. But the handle's on the inside. So only you can open that door to let him in, you know? Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Are hey, you having to come out there? So only you can let him in, you know? So it's kind of like, um, I don't get people get strict about these masks, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so we kind of like lots of people pray. Mm -hmm. And praying's like talking through the door. You know he's there somewhere but you don't know him personally, you know what I mean? No. Now, if you had a backpack on your back with all your sins in the back, would it be heavy? Yeah. Yeah, for everybody, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Yep. And that bag represents your death with God. 
stops you having a relationship with him. So he wants to get that thing off so that you can be together, you know? So if you're the bank, it's kind of another example, you're the bank, $10,000. I give you a check right now, 10 grand. You deposit the check in your bank. What's going to happen to your debt? Uh, pretty much all would go away. Yeah, and if you only owe 10,000, yeah. all, all of it's gone, yeah. you know? And that's what Jesus did for you on the cross, man. He wrote you a check, signed it in his blood, cost him his whole life to pay your debt in heaven, but he did it. And he's standing here today at the door of your heart wanting you to cash it. So if Jesus were here right now, would you let him in? Absolutely. So can you see the wind? I know it's not too windy at the minute, but when the wind starts blowing, can, can you visibly see it? Yep. You, can, you can see it when it lands on something, yep. but you can't see it when it's just moving around. Yep. But you feel it, yeah? Yep. So just like the wind, I believe Jesus is here right now. Can I pray for you to feel his presence? Absolutely. Yeah. What's your name, bro? Joe. Joe, I'm Scott. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. So Father, I just pray for Joel right now. I ask you to touch his heart. Thank you that you love him. And I thank you that today I'm here because you know his heart and you know his heart's ready for you. So I ask you right now, let him feel your presence. Let him know that you love him. Let him see everything that is going on in his life. Let him, let him, um, him see that you know everything in his life. Let him see that you love him, that you know everything, every piece of his story. And right now you want to reveal your love to him. So I pray for your power to wash over him. Holy Spirit, right now in this moment, show him that you love him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now tell me, man, you feel anything inside there? Yeah. How's it feel? It's lighter. Come on. Yeah. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Come on. How old are you? I'm 27. 27. So would you believe Jesus is here right now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the last thing he wants, if you're on a road of life going this direction without Jesus, he wants you to turn around, change direction, and follow him. So at the moment, you believe in him, but you're not following him. And what he's looking for you to do is to follow, because that's when your life starts changing. Do you have a, a child? Yes. Daughter? A uh, uh, son and a daughter. Son and a daughter, okay. Because um, I was just seeing, I was just feeling when I was praying for that, that there's been a, a bit of a weight on you, on your heart in terms of like wanting to, want to better the family, yeah. want to kind of you know really pick things up, turn yeah. things around. You know, you see, it's kind of been heavy on your heart because you're like, I want to give my family so much more. I saw you with, with your with your with your girl and stuff, and I wanna, I wanna be able to provide more. Yeah. Uh, it's been something that's been quite heavy on your heart. Yeah. Because yeah? uh, back in October, I like been rough since October because uh, my house actually burnt down. Oh no way. Yeah. It was actually my childhood house that I grew up in, oh. and then uh, ended up buying it. My oh. grandma passed away. Oh wow! You bought the house and then it burnt down. Yeah. Oh bro, that's crazy. Sorry to hear that. When, uh, when was this? Uh, back in October. Oh man, so where have you been since then? Uh, we actually bought a fifth wheel, and it's me okay. and my wife and my two kids. And oh, man. So that's accurate what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 And obviously, I don't know. I don't know you. Yeah. But that's crazy. Yeah. But but that's on point, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But that's I don't. Perfectly on point, honestly. Come on, man. But I don't know you, but G I know Jesus, and He knows you, and He loves you, man. And what He's seen, He's seen that ache in your heart where you're sat in that in that, in that fifth wheel. And you're like, man, I wanna. I want more, yep. you know, for my family. I want to tell you this, man. I was 24 years of age. I was a cocaine addict, alcoholic, mixed with gangsters, living a crazy life. And Jesus changed my life. That was 20 years ago. And I've, I traveled to many nations as an evangelist, and I've shared the gospel. Man, if you give him your life, there'll be more with it than what you could ever do. I promise you. Absolutely. But what he needs from you is, is 100% commitment. Okay. So to say that you would follow and you'd be serious about following him and making him number one. Because yeah. when he's number one, everything else makes sense. But would you say that to him? Okay, so just say this with me, bro. Pray, pray this prayer with me from your heart with your mouth. Just say, Jesus. Jesus. I open the door of my heart. I open the door of my heart. I say sorry for my sin. I say sorry for my sin. I choose to follow you. I choose to follow you. And make you Lord of my life. And make you Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now I want to help you, man. We, uh, we run, I'm a pastor of a church, but where do you live? Uh, I live in Toledo. How far is that from here? Uh, about 20 minutes from okay. here. Okay, so in Woodland, you know Woodland? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's where my church is based. Okay. Uh, on the, tonight, this evening, at 6.30, which is kind of not too far away, I run a new believers group. Okay. It's 6.30 to 8, and it's like we have like, this week we've got six first-time people coming, last week we had four. It's like a big family of people, like similar ages, people that we meet as we go about our business, and the Lord's presence is strong there, and it's going to be incredible. Uh, and I know it's short notice, but if you're able to make it work, man, this will be a great first step yeah, for you absolutely. to come. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'd love to invite you to come. Yeah, um, my, my, one of my bros is here, who's part of the. Uh, yeah, part I saw you talk to Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys are the tattoos, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this kind of guy is what, what we have there. It's yeah. just real people, man. Yeah. Uh, not church people. But, but they become changed by the Lord, by the, His love, you know? Um, so it's amazing, you love them, man. Um, so I'd love to invite you, brother. So this week, yeah, we've got like literally like six, at least six first time people coming. Okay. It's amazing, man, yeah. So uh, the Lord's doing amazing things in people's lives, changing people's lives, it's powerful, man. Um, but you love it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so get My name's Joe and I want to get baptized because honestly, I've been ignoring God for years. I had a friend who gave his life to God and he tried to get me to do it for the past six years. 
and at one of my darkest times I met Scott and everything's just fallen into place and now I have direction. Joe, do you believe Jesus Christ died and rose again on the third day? Absolutely. Will you give him your whole life and follow him daily? Every day. Upon profession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Harley Eisman, and I'm getting baptized because I just feel like that Jesus is going to better my life. Thank you, Jesus. Harley, do you believe Jesus Christ died and rose again on the third day for your sins? Yes. Will you follow him every day of your life? Yes. On profession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.